Hi, and welcome to another KWM tasting blog with me, Andrew, here. Uh, we've, this time we've got Casa Farina's Calabriga from the Duro Valley, 2020 vintage. Uh, so Casa Farina, first of all, um, very famous house in Portugal in the Duro Valley. They were the first uh, producer in the Duro Valley to produce still wines, which at the time was unique because everything was fortified. You, the port trade is obviously based in the Duro. So still wines was kind of unusual for them at the time. It was all kicked off with the Barcavella or Barcavella. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it. But today the Barcavella or Barcavella is probably uh, Portugal's most expensive and leading red wine, some of which we have for sale. If you check out our website, you can buy it off us from time to time. Not always available, but uh, in the very, very best years, they make Barcavella. Uh, and then in the other years that they, that they don't make Barcavella, some of those grapes sort of filter down into some of the other wines, particularly the Quinta de Leda, which is a phenomenal bottle of wine, around that 50 quid market bottle now. So thinking Barcavella is probably 70, 800 quid a bottle these days, crazy money. Uh, Quinta de Leda 50, using them grape varieties in off years is, is a bargain. And some of the grapes also from the Quinta de Leda state go into this wine, the Calabriga, which is sort of like the next step down from Quinta de Leda. And this comes in around 21, 22 quid at the minute. Um, and the key thing with uh, the wines from the Douro and in Portugal in general, I think, and you'll, you'll know this when you taste them, is the value for money that you get in a bottle. So if you spent 20 quid on this, on a bottle of wine out of France or Italy or Australia or whatever, um, you won't get the same caliber of wine as you will out of Portugal at those kind of price points. You get a serious amount of wine for your money out of there. And this is what sort of people are flocking to Portugal for, both the value for money and the interesting great varieties. Like this particular wine is a blend of 45% uh, Tariga Franca, 35% Tariga Nacional, which is the famous port grape, and 20% Tinta Ruiz as well. So a blend of sort of Portuguese varieties in there. Uh, this particular wine sees it's 100% in oak, but 25% is new American and 75% is older French oak. So a bit of a combination and a bit of a winemaker blend in there. It comes from the Douro Valley, which is up in here along the Douro River, but it comes from what's called the Douro Superior, which is way up in here, very close to the uh, Spanish border, very remote inland uh, place. Very, very warm area. This particular vintage 2020 was a very warm vintage and they had to be careful in the vineyards in terms of canopy management so that the grapes didn't get roasted and were useless. So uh, in all in all, it turned out a very, very good bottle of wine. So when you get to the taste of, to pour it out, you just see how deep and intense the color is on this. A really narrow purple rim, inky black core to it. It was really full body, 14% alcohol. So it's not over the top alcohol wise either. So don't be afraid of that. But the color on is amazing. And you see with the, uh, as, I don't know why you can see that, but as you swirl it around the glass and move it, you get this really quite deep in extraction from it, you know? So that tells you straight away that it's come from a warm climate. Those, that sort of wine sticks to the glass, if you like. A wee tip for you there, if you're blind tasting, when you swirl the wine around the glass, it sticks, it's generally a symbol that it's from a warm climate compared to a, a cool climate. So, On the nose of this here, while it is still pretty young, this is 2023 I'm doing this at the minute, so it's approximately three years old, but still a very primary nose. It's you get quite a lot of crushed violet sort of flowers almost to it, sweet black cherry sort of fruit, blackberry sort of jam almost. It does remind you of that sort of smell of a port almost, but without the alcohol and without that sort of real baked intensity. So it has a touch of that duro bake, as I like to call it, as well, but very appealing. Almost slightly graphite as well, but primary fruit, violets, blackberries, things like that. Mouth fill and flavours, quite a bit of grip to it. This is a wine that's going to ease for quite some time. Nice high acid in there to, to cut through that fruit and, and tannin. 
alcohol as I say 14% it's not overpowering at all in this wine lovely long finish to it it's a touch of pepper to it as well it's a wine that's yes it'll drink now but it will mature beautifully over the next five or eight years I would imagine um, really good example top producer uh, Dura Valley wines are very in fashion these days because um, again you get a lot of buying for your buck Amazing wines. They have different ste steps right through from Esteva, Papa Figos, Calabriga, Quinta de Leda. We have them all on our website. So please check it out. And if you want to uh, check out Portugal, there's quite a lot of stuff there. Um, do try them. If you haven't tried Portuguese wines before, you will not be disappointed. So until next time, cheers.